I'm leaving now Hockey Tika, cycling up to Greymouth with a broken bottom bracket. I hope it's gonna last for a while because the next bike shop which I'm gonna approach is in Nelson. So I text it to a girl who works in a bike shop in Nelson and she will be able to get me a new bottom bracket. But it's like another 400 kilometer about from here. So it's not, not the best. Uh, let's keep going. I'm here in Grandma. I was just about to make some uh, dinner and now it started just to rain. Just a gentle rain. Casual, just casual rain in, in New Zealand. Easy. So I just keep making my dinner and wait until it gets better. So, and as you can obviously see, I'm not a good cook. I'm always just throwing everything in one pot and then I cook it for a while. So in this case we have rice on the bottom, three claws of garlic, one onion, one carrot, one zucchini, quite a lot of broccoli, put some salt, some pepper and some spices in general and yeah, that's about it. And now just gonna simmer it for a while and wait until it's done. That's actually pretty good and so healthy. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, I can't finish. I can't finish. It's just way too much. Anyway, so I'm gonna stay somewhere here around Greymouth. I'm gonna camp here. And tomorrow I return because I really need to open up a bank account and to get an IRD number. So there's a library here around uh, uh, banks. So I can open a bank account. I can apply for the IRD number and then I move on. But yeah, for today. That's it. So I'm gonna pack my stuff and look for a good spot to sleep. But the leftovers of my food I will eat tomorrow for breakfast. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Look at this light. It's super red. What a sunset. I love it. I slept here behind this viewpoint. <laughs> I was hoping to have a bit of a shelter by this house. And I was at the beginning, but then the wind turned and started to rain. So I had to pull over my BB bag, which kept the rain off. But at the same time, my sleeping bag is now wet because I was sweating. And it's like absolutely non-breathable. But yeah. It happens, I guess. So because it's still very early in the morning and the shops are not open yet, I just cruise around here in the skate park and have a bit of fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, I forgot to film my backflip, but well, Okay, I think you can imagine that I could easily do this on a fully loaded bicycle, right? Easy. Easy. Nah, I'm joking. I sorted out pretty much all my stuff. Now I'm leaving Greymouth, cycling towards Reefton. We're well, gonna receive a package, a new rain jacket because mine is leaking and a new MSR petrol pump because it's leaking as well. So let's go to Reefton. Big boy, a nasty rain. No, man. Whew. Last second, and I found this house. Uh, it seems abandoned. I don't know, but here's like a roof. 
so I'm good. Just gonna wait until the rain would stop. Alright, the rain stopped. Let's move on. And it's raining again, so I found this perfect, beautiful. I don't know what this actually is. It's like a just a room, a picnic table, and some information. I'm thinking about to just sleep here on this beautiful table. I feel like I'm mastering slowly the skill of um, finding a good place to sleep for the night without getting wet even though it would rain. That's, that's a good one, it's like the third night in a row. Well, well, last night was not the best, but that's not too bad here. <laughs> so, new day. Still quite wet and I slept here and I was just about to wear my sleeping bag into this dry bag to get up with a mandolin. <laughs> and I looked inside and then I saw two eyes looking at me. So, there's a mouse, a tiny little mouse. Ah, two little mice, two little mice. Not the plural, yes. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna release them. One. Two and three. Hey guys, come out. What's up, man? They don't want to come out, eh? getting quite warm so I take off my rain pants. I uh, actually expected like rain showers today but now the sun just came out. Mm. I think I just found the right pitch to call the cows. Mm. So you start very gentle, mm, and then you build up, mm, you know, mm, and then you end with a strong, mm, mm, mm. and then you make just friends with cows. Right? Well, there's a fence, you have to stop now soon. Don't run into the fence. Just be aware, there's an end. Right, there's the end. Sorry guys, our girls. They're actually girls. Goodbye, move. So now I'm going to uh, the warm showers host who actually received or should receive a package for me or two packages my pump and my rain jacket and let's see if this actually happened or not just need to find a house Drop it. Good boy. <laughs> uh, uh. So yeah, my new pump has arrived yesterday, but my rain jacket didn't. So I had to stay one more night here. And my host uh, went off for a cycle tour. 
So I had the house for myself, had a good pizza and watched the new series of Ed Pratt, How He Unicycled the USA. So I'm having a good time. So yeah, it's all good. I think soon the courier with my rain jacket should appear soon. And then I will keep cycling towards Murchison. Murchison? Murchison. Oh yeah, there we go. So the postman just came and dropped off this package. So let's open this and let's have a look inside. I'm excited. The front could be actually a bit longer, but I think for cycling it's all right. Ah, it's quite light and quite packable. So not too bad, I take it. Let's go. bit disappointed for today because there was no rain so I just got a new rain jacket and there's no rain it's like the first day in like weeks where there's no rain what's, what's, what's wrong what is wrong disappointed just disappointed and my chain is like give me some oil but all the rain just made it dry and squeaky It's about to get dark uh, and I'm here on this campsite which is run by DOC. Uh, I think I'm gonna just stay here, which is pretty perfect, just in this tiny little house. So I don't need to pitch it in. <laughs> this is now my fifth or sixth night in, in a row without sleeping in a tent, but sheltered. So I'm getting better and better. The only problem is now that this campsite costs actually eight dollar um, you can pay cash or by card if a ranger is present but I don't have or I have cash but it's like I do have only a fifty dollar bill which is like forty two dollar too much so I don't know I'm sorry but I think you're gonna stay here without paying it. If there's nobody coming, I will stay without paying. If there's somebody coming, I will pay for sure. But for now, there's nobody here around, so can't do anything. Not too bad. It's raining outside, but I'm dry. So yeah, good night. Okay, now it gets a bit ridiculous. Just took off the, the tube. I'm not sure if you can see it, but here is a stain of zip tie. So apparently when I put this, tube into the tire. I put a zip tie inside as well. This probably caused uh, the puncture because this is like, not sure if you can see it, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> what happened? So let's patch it up and let's keep going. Because I forgot to take a proper tripod to New Zealand, I always have to wait until I would find something like that where I can put this table tripod and my proper camera uh, to make shots like this. Slow motion, ladies and gentlemen. 120 frames per second. But setting up a tripod means also you have to turn around to get the camera back because 
well, there's nobody who films you. You're just the guy who set up the camera and now you have to grab it again to keep going with the camera. quick break um, considering my plans. In this direction it goes to Nelson and this direction it goes to Picton more or less straight. And because of some timing issues um, I decided to skip Nelson um, where I was planning to change my bottom bracket. Somehow, miraculously, um, there's just the sunfly on the lens. Um, Somehow my bottom bracket behaves now normal again, which is a bit weird, I don't know, but as I said, like it just happens when it's wet. So anyway, um, I'm going now straight to Picton and I'm gonna sort out the problem with the bottom bracket later because I really wanna get to Auckland to get started with the job. Oh, so many sunflies here. Um, because the longer I wait, the more I, money I miss and all the money that I would make um, goes basically directly in my ongoing trip. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the decision I made just now. So I'm gonna go in this direction towards Picton. And I hope I can do it today to Sand Anout, which is about 20 kilometer from here. Um, yeah. Sand flies! So that's about it. I'm gonna finish my break here and keep cycling. Oh, fucking fly! It's like an invisible climb here. You can't see it, but I can feel it in my legs. It's going uphill. Like 2% gradient, maybe. So, my camera just started my action camera but anyway I made it to Lake Rotuiti which you can see behind me I can't camp here because it's not allowed but a few hundred meters back I'm good to camp so I would just have dinner here I will enjoy the stars and this episode is gonna end here so I hope you enjoyed peace out see you later This is my favorite drink in the morning, corn juice. Mmm, delicious. <laughs>